En nu, beste vrienden, de winnaars van 2015. De eerste winnaars van Bee Jazz International Contest. Het Philip Lem Trio, een trio rond de drummer Philip Lem. Ze hebben niet stilgezeten sindsdien. Onlangs waren ze nog in de Blue Note Club in New York aan het optreden. En nu voor deze streaming konden ze niet in België zijn. Maar we krijgen een opname van een optreden in een club in Florida. Ondertussen is hun derde plaat uit. We zijn heel benieuwd wat we nu zullen zien. Net zoals jullie. Geniet van het Philip Lem Trio. Hallo, Philip Lem hier van het Philip Lem Trio. Um, precies zes jaar geleden, in 2015, wonnen we met dit trio de Bee Jazz International Competitie. Uh, en onze pianist Angelo Di Loretto heeft toen ook de prijs voor beste solist gewonnen. We zijn nu zes jaar verder en we hebben drie studioalbums gemaakt. En de Bee Jazz Competitie heeft ons ontzettend veel geholpen. Dit was eigenlijk... Het moment waarop het trio echt begon, echt serieus begon. We hebben na die competitie ook onze eerste cd opgenomen. Um, in 2016 was dat. En die heet Nieuw Amsterdam. We hebben mogen spelen op het Get Show Festival in, uh, in Bilbao, het klooster Bilbao. En we hebben daar ontzettend veel van geleerd. We hebben echt door die competitie, uh, zijn we veel serieuzer gaan spelen en hebben we... Heel veel dingen bereikt. We hebben op het Noordzee Jazz Festival kunnen spelen. We hebben in Ronnie Scott's in Londen kunnen spelen. En zelfs in het Concertgebouw in Amsterdam hebben we mogen spelen. Um, helaas natuurlijk door corona zijn alle festivals gecanceld. Gaat er niks meer door. Maar we zijn heel blij dat we toch op de een of andere manier terug kunnen komen in België. Om te spelen op de virtuele versie van het Leuven Jazz Festival. Um, dit is een livestream die we gaan doen, een concert dat we spelen in Florida, waar jullie nu naar gaan kijken. En ik ben heel blij dat, uh, dat jullie bij ons kunnen zijn en ik hoop dat jullie zes jaar na dato uh, kunnen horen wat we allemaal gedaan hebben, nieuwe muziek hebben gemaakt. En dankjewel voor het kijken en dankjewel voor iedereen die samenwerkt met de Be Jazz Competition. Uh, want zonder jullie hadden we hier uiteindelijk nooit gestaan, dus dankjewel.
Thank you very, very much for being here. Uh, you're listening to Edison Fry on the piano. <laughs> and Jeff Koch on the bass. Jeff Koch on the bass. <laughs> yeah, wow, this, it's really, um, we haven't performed in so long and it's such a thrill. I like, we were waiting to go on stage and I felt this excitement that I haven't felt in a while and I really, really, have to thank you for coming out and sort of making that excitement with us and uh, being here. It's a very special couple of shows we're doing. Um, we're being for four days in Florida to do, to do concerts. And um, I moved, to, I'm from the Netherlands, Amsterdam originally, and I moved to New York about 10 years ago to study at the Manhattan School of Music where, I, where this trio kind of formed. I met um, my two musical brothers. They were in my class, piano player Angelo Di Loretto and Jeff Koch, the bass player. And in October last year, Angelo passed away, um, unexpected. And we were about to have a record released and we wrote music for so long together that we want to dedicate basically the concerts that we're doing now and the record that we made we want to dedicate it to him we want to keep playing his music and you actually just heard one of his compositions called Funchal which is on our second album called uh, City Birds um, the music is therapeutic almost to process everything to keep somebody's uh, spirit alive somebody's body of work alive and to kind of share it with the world um, Angelo became 30 years old, but he lived an incredibly rich life and um, gave so much to the world that um, through these concerts and through this album, we want to keep his spirit alive and kind of keep the beautiful music that he gave us here amongst us. Um, we're going to continue with another of his compositions, which is entitled Malambo, which is an Argentinian dance. He was inspired by this dance, which is a traditional Argentinian dance performed by only men. And they're carrying these big drums on their side, bombos. And he took that as inspiration and listened to the Argentinian composer Alberto Hinastera. And he wrote this, um, this song that we've been, that we put on the, on the album that is actually supposed to come out, or it's supposed, it's coming out March 26th. And, um, um, he entitled this with a little bit tongue-in-cheek, he entitled this a bit cardio jazz. <laughs> so here is uh, Angelo Di Loretto's composition, Malambo.
Thank you very much. Um, that was Scarborough Fair, as some of you might have recognized. Um, we're going to continue with another cover, so to say. This is from Joni Mitchell's album entitled Blue. This is, um, I think it's one of my favorite Joni Mitchell songs. And um, it's kind of rearranged. The arrangement is also done by Angelo. And I hope you enjoy it. This is Joni Mitchell's tune entitled River.
thank you so much. Um, how about it one more time for Edison Fry on the piano? <laughs> Jeff Koch on the bass, Jeff Koch on the bass. Um, so we, I'm using these concerts also um, to talk about Angelo, to kind of share his stories, share our stories, how these tunes came about. Because um, I think it adds to, you know, we're playing abstract music here. There are no lyrics to tell you how to feel. So we're trying to get them out of the abstraction a little bit, like a little note that you see when you go to the Museum of Modern Art and you see just a big red painting with like a white dot somewhere and you have no idea what you're looking at. I will be that description for you tonight. <laughs> so for this next song, we have to go back to the recording of our first album. We just won this competition in 2015 in Belgium called the BJS International Contest. And we thought this might be a good starting point to record our first album. And we got some money from the competition, from prize money. And we went into Flux Studios in New York City. And we thought, let's record everything in one room. Similar like what we're doing now. Um, and this particular studio, in between the recording room and the control room, we had these we had a little hallway with a coffee machine. And this was by far the most amazing coffee machine we've ever seen because it had the beans in it and it grinded everything and it looked very stylish. And we looked at it and it's called the Jura Ina Micro One. <laughs> For the coffee connoisseurs in the room, you know what I'm talking about. This machine is top notch. Um, these recording days are about 10, 12 hours long. And it became a habit that every time we recorded the song and went back in the control room to listen to the song, we would have one of those espressos, which resulted after the first day in about 15 of those each. <laughs> we kind of liked the buzz. We liked the caffeination. And uh, that happened the second day as well and the third day mixing as well. We kind of got addicted, you might say, in those three days. Now, Angelo in particular was a big fan of this machine because about three weeks after we were done in the studio, he sent us this very enthusiastic WhatsApp text message saying, guys, I found a second hand, a Jura Ina Micro One, and it's in my living room right now, <laughs> ready for you to have more coffee with me when you come over to my place to play music. And so it happened that um, I decided to write a song about this entitled Caffeinated Souls, because we became the Caffeinated Souls. Um, it's a dedication to the machine, <laughs> the Jura in a micro one. It's a dedication to maybe all of you that are slightly addicted to coffee, <laughs> similar like us. And it's a dedication to Angelo because I miss him very much. And uh, this one is for you, Ange. Caffeinated Souls.
Thank you so much. Edison Fry on the piano. <laughs> Jeff Koch on the bass. Philippe Lem Trio. Bedankt dat je keek en graag tot de volgende keer.